Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. If you are new here, we're reading fan fiction today, so you should probably go watch the other videos first and then come back. If you're not new here, I know exactly why you're here. I have some um I have some pretty sad news though. There's only two more chapters. And I'm pretty sure it ends on a cliffhanger and there has been no updates since 2019. So I don't think we're getting an ending to this, unfortunately. And huge thank you to everyone being so understanding last week. Fourth of July was on Tuesday. Um, I'm in the Kansas City area. Taylor Swift was in town. I spent all week trying to get tickets only to not go. But it's fine. All right. Man. Chapter 18. Here we go. So you're telling me, Rachel, Samantha said, her voice in shock. She handed me the house keys as she dug in her purse for her phone. That you and Colby are dating? Yes, I told you a million times. I stuck the key in the lock and turned it. Honey, I just can't believe you actually got a boyfriend and it's freaking Colby. She finally smiled at me. I pushed the door open and handed her back the keys. Well, you better believe it. So I'm not the only one that doesn't. I laughed. We walked in and I closed the door. Where did it even happen? How did it happen? It actually happened here. What? Her eyes went wide with a big smile. Where was I? Most likely with Sam or something. Yeah, it occurred here and I was still that tomato shade. I chuckled and walked into the kitchen to look for something to eat. So you mean to tell me this was a couple of weeks ago? She scoffed and set her purse down. Yep. Why are you telling me now? I was wondering why you two were so close. I just wasn't sure if I was ready to tell you, Samantha. I know exactly how you'd react. Oh, really? She smirked and laid on the table. How would I have reacted? Oh my God, I mocked. Rachel's got a boyfriend, so I have to make sure I tell everyone. We laughed. Probably true. No, Samantha, there is no probably. She puffed out her lip and smiled. What? I put a chip in my mouth after opening a bag. Her eyes watered and she smiled. Oh no. I'm so proud of you. She hugged me. Oh my God. She's going to start sobbing because I have a boyfriend. I awkwardly patted her back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, these are real tears. She muffled through my shoulder. My eyelashes are peeling off. She heaved. I furrowed my eyebrows and she let go. Okay. Okay. I'm done. She gently wiped her eyes. I'm fine now. You're way too dramatic, but whatever. I need to go shower now. Invite Colby over tonight for a movie or something. I'd love to chat with you two, she said and left. I raised my eyebrows. Okay. I pulled out my phone and called up Colby. I told him to come tonight. He agreed. I put the phone down and sighed deeply. Yeah, dating Colby is great, but since he confessed it to his fans, they have not been so supportive. I've been getting messages from fans, like hurtful messages. But Colby told me not to worry about it too much because if they were true fans, they'd accept it. I still worried. What if one of the fans noticed me and caused harm to me when I did nothing wrong? On the bright side, there are some fans that like how we are. I don't think I would ever appear in any of his videos like vlogs. I'd get hate and he'd get criticized. I was hoping this can work because I really like him. Later on, after Samantha got the movie set up, Colby came over. I closed the door after opening it for him. Hi, I said with a big smile. He hugged me tightly. Hello, Rachel, he said, joy in his voice. He let me go. He smiled. What's up? He said and put an arm around me. Nothing. Well, we're here to watch movies. Isn't that exciting? He asked as we started walking to the living room. I mean, I guess. I think it's boring watching movies all the time, but if you want to, I glanced up at him. He slightly smiled. I think it's fun. He diverted his eyes to Samantha picking out a movie on Netflix. Right, Samantha? She flicked her blonde hair around and looked at us. Whatever you said, I agree. Come on now, let's sit, lovebirds. We sat down. I think we should do some fun things, I commented. What's the movie? Colby asked. White chicks, Samantha replied and set some snacks on her lap. I rolled my eyes a bit and smiled. You're so cliche, I muttered under my breath. Colby leaned into me. My best guess is you told her, right? He whispered. Yes, I did. Did she freak? I gave him that look telling him he just asked a rhetorical question. Why are you even asking? He chuckled and we faced the front and started to focus on the movie. Samantha threw a pack of Sour Patch Kids at me and I smiled. She handed Colby the same thing. Mm, thanks, I said to her. And she replied with a small smile. I started eating them. Since the movie was almost over, I decided to clean up my mess a little bit. Colby grabbed my wrist and I looked over my shoulder at him. What? You're blocking the TV with your butt. 
My cheeks burned and I stepped out of his view. Sorry. He smiled, seeing how embarrassed I had gotten. I went to the trash can and threw away my wrappers. I grabbed me a glass of water and gulped it down like holy water. I need to stay pure. I went to the restroom and looked at my face. I ran a hand through my hair and sighed. I was all heated up because he said that. I didn't know my butt was in his way. Jesus Christ. I used the toilet. After I went back to the living room, Samantha was choosing a different movie as Colby was on his phone. I sat back down. He looked at me, a smile on his lips once he saw me. Where'd you go to? Uh, I just threw away some wrappers and stuff. He sighed. Oh, I glanced at his phone and saw he was watching a video. I leaned into him and smiled. What are you watching? Some old videos from mine and Sam's old account. Ooh, let me see, I said. You don't even want to know. Samantha butted in and laughed. I watched some. Colby blushed. That's very embarrassing. I smiled at how shy he was being. No, let me see. I snatched his phone and saw how cute of a bean he was. Oh my God, you're so young. He went to grab his phone, but I held it away and laughed. It's so cute. Look at Sam, Samantha. I said, and she glanced over. She squealed. God damn, he's young. They both are. How cute, Colby. I pushed his phone back in his hand. I saw how mad he was. I just giggled and kissed his lips slightly. Aw, don't be mad if I say you're cute. It's embarrassing. He shut his phone off and stuck it in his pocket. I was just checking up on how stupid I looked. Stop it, I said softly and snuggled against his side. It's fine. To you it is. I smacked my lips. Shut up, really. His phone dinged and he looked at it. Uh, Sam needs me now. What? Why? I sort of whined. I forgot we were shooting a video. What are you doing? Um, exploring. He sat up, making me sit up too because I was on him. Oh, well, stay safe. I stood up and kissed him along with a hug. I will. Call me later on, I said. I know, Rachel. He smiled. Bye. He left. I heaved out a sigh and plopped on the couch. Samantha looked over at me. I was sad he had to leave so suddenly. You guys do realize I was here, right? You have no room to criticize right now. I was a bit irritated. She laughed. You guys are so cute together. It makes me a bit jealous. Hmm. I chortled. I've never heard that word. (laughs) Have you guys done the dirty yet? My eyes widened and I looked at her crazily. Samantha. She laughed. I'm joking. Don't say such things. Plus, you know I wouldn't let him in my pants this early. I know you like to play hard to get. Not true. He's practically my first boyfriend, I reminded. I know. She laid her head down on my lap and lifted the controller up. What should we watch now? I shrugged. I don't know. The kissing booth? Ooh, yes. I laid in the bed waiting for Colby to call, but I knew he couldn't because these kind of videos take forever to make. I knew I'd be waiting till tomorrow. I turned on my side and tried sleeping. I feel like you can just really tell that she did not want to continue writing this. Or he. I don't don't know who wrote it. But I feel like the grammar was not good. The grammar has not been good, but it has gotten progressively worse to the point where I, I can't even read some of these sentences. My phone would ding, but no Colby calls. I knew what those dings were. It was a call from all the haters. I sighed and turned the other way to grab my phone and shut it off. Why do they support Sam and Samantha, but not me and Colby? That's so true though. Like Sam and Kat, first of all, I cannot believe they broke up. Does true love even exist? When Sam and Kat were together, everybody loved them. But the second Colby would make any kind of TikTok or video with another girl, oh, the comments were awful. What's so wrong about me? I never heard Samantha get any kind of hate. She's so perfect. She had no problems. I laid it down and sighed deeply, going to sleep later on. Samantha's POV. Since Rachel already went to bed, I was alone eating a bucket of ice cream and watching romance movies alone. I scooped up some vanilla and stuck it in my mouth, my eyes watering while I was at it because I was hurt. Rachel is dating Colby. I'm with no one anymore. Sam and I broke up. Rachel just doesn't know anything. That's why I've had more time with her. There are times when she asks where Sam is and I would tell her he's busy. Ice cream is so good. I muffled through the frozen treat in my mouth and cried. Not only am I alone eating ice cream, I get messages on my phone saying how I'm stupid for breaking Sam's heart. I did it because of the haters. I have problems too. I just don't like handing them to someone else. 
And if Sam knew something that no one else knows but me, he'd stay with me and probably give up his videos for a while. And why am I crying over something that still happened a while ago? Because I'm pregnant with his kid and he doesn't know it. I'm too scared to tell him and he'll go on and not believe me. I feel like he'd think it was from someone else when it wasn't. I'm not a bad person. I'm just outgoing and happy. Sam also made me happier. And now that we're not together, I feel depressed in all ways. I miss him a lot. All right. Chapter 19 of Rude, the Colby Brock fan fiction series. Here we go. After fixing a bowl of instant ramen, I cleaned up my used pot, then headed to the living room where Samantha was watching YouTube videos. Lately, she's been off, like not her typical self, and it's bothering me more than ever. I want to ask her why she's overeating and having significant mood swings, or why she never goes out with Sam anymore unless they had broken up, but since Samantha tells me everything, that would be highly unlikely. I sigh and begin eating. I swallow my noodles. Samantha, I take the courage to ask her what's the matter. Is there something you want to talk about? She clears her throat, pausing the Sam and Colby video that she was watching. Uh, nothing. She forces a painful smile, causing my lips to compress into a line. Look, I say and lean toward the table to place the bowl of ramen on it. I relax beside Samantha again, setting my arm on the back of the couch. I've known you for years, and I have realized that you don't know how to lie. I cocked an eyebrow. Tell me. Samantha studies my face for a while, her eyes progressing into watery pools. She turns her head away, wiping the fallen tears, then clears her throat. Sam and I broke up. I inhale sharply, wincing at the news. Do you want me to beat him up? Same. Cat, if you want me to beat Sam up, I will. I ask, hoping to enlighten the mood, but the air only got thicker. She sobs and clutches her blanket. I broke up with Sam, she babbles. I instantly take her into my embrace and cradle her. I press my lips together. Why would she break up with Sam? She loves him. Aw, I whisper a little. It's okay. She sniffles, lifting her head to face me. No, it's not okay, Rachel. Nothing is ever okay. Her face gushes red. I really don't like the way that's worded. Her face is red. Her eyes pouring with pain. I take a gulp, not understanding how to calm her. We can discuss this matter. Why did you split with him, Samantha? She stands, stomping her foot. Do you see me? Do you wonder why I've been eating my soul out? Do you notice my irritable behavior? She croaks. I'm a mess. I get on my feet, pulling her into a hug, which she gave into for comfort. I promise it's not the end of the world. You still have your whole life of freedom. Rachel, I don't have my whole life, she says weakly. I'm trapped with Sam for the rest of it. My brows spring up and I pull her away to look her in her eyes. What do you mean? Don't hate me, Rachel, she cries. I'm pregnant. I swallow. I was speechless, perceiving the words and analyzing the situation. I'm sure I can solve this for a bit. I picked my phone up, causing Samantha to yield her sobs. What are you doing? Her voice quivers. I contact Colby, holding the phone to my ear. I'm telling Colby to come over. We need to talk about your well-being. What? No, she shouts. He'll tell Sam. He won't, I reassure her. Colby will understand. What if he does tell Sam, though? She squeaks. I tell her to calm down because her blood pressure was above the charts. She can't understand this amount of stress. But I still wonder why she broke up with Sam if she was pregnant. Was she scared? Did she not know yet? I bite my fingernails, nervous for Samantha. My mind was still processing the situation. Samantha was pregnant. I wonder how far along she is with this pregnancy. I mean, I have noticed an increase in weight, but I never bothered to question it because... Well, it's Samantha. I've never asked her about her diet a whole lot. Colby is here now, comforting Samantha, telling her it will be okay and saying Sam wouldn't doubt her for being pregnant. But she only cried and wept. I can't imagine how she feels. My best friend was going through a traumatic time and I never noticed her worry or stress. Now that I do know, I can't help but feel incredibly guilty. I grasped Samantha's hand. She's been crying forever, which is not suitable for the baby. Rachel, Colby says, glancing over at me as Samantha sobbed on him. Nothing is working. <laughs> Why is it like they're comforting a crying newborn baby? I sigh deeply. Samantha will pass out soon. Literally like trying to calm a newborn baby. I say with doubt in my voice, when she's calm, then we can talk to her. He nods, turning his attention back to Samantha. Finally, after many trials and errors, Samantha falls asleep on the couch. I place my hand on my hips, exhaling dramatically. Colby gives me a back hug, making me hold on to his forearms. 
I'll talk to Sam, okay? He murmurs, squeezing me closer into his body. Yeah, thanks. I slip from his arm, strolling to the couch where Samantha laid sprawled out on the cushions. I pick up the soggy, dry ramen from the coffee table. I walk past Colby into the kitchen to throw the ramen out, then rinse the bowl underneath some water. Rachel, Colby calls out as he stands at the kitchen by the doorway. I glance at him, forcing a smile. What? I set the bowl aside and lean on the counter. Why hadn't Samantha come clean about the breakup in her pregnancy? We're so close that we could be sisters, so I didn't understand. I suppose she was horrified to admit her pregnancy, believing that I might downgrade her for it. I think they meant degrade, but I would never do such a thing. I'd give her unconditional support and love. Colby shrugs, smirking a little. It seems as if you're stressed, he states and walks to me. I scoff, me? Stressed? No such thing for me. Same. I sarcastically respond. Colby slides his arm around my waist, pulling me into his body again. I groan in defeat as he hugs me. Don't worry too much, Rachel, he says. Everything will calm and rejuvenate. Yeah, I hope, but there will be a child involved, I remind him, releasing myself from his grip. Well, that's life. You can plan, but you can't predict. His lips curve into a smile, but it left his face. I know a lot has happened since you met Sam and me. Oh, really? I jeer, scooting Colby aside. Look, Colby, I begin, my head steaming in anxiety. Thanks for coming over to sue Samantha, but I think it's time for you to go back home now and have a meaningful conversation with Sam. I place a hand on his chest, guiding him to the exit. But I want to talk to you, Rachel, he says urgently, holding the hand that pushed his chest. Yeah, I sigh. I know you do, but I'm not in the mood to chat. Colby analyzes me, troubled. I know you want to speak to someone about the situation. I will see you later. I nudged him out of the door. I'll call you, he says as I close the door. I instantly exhale, my warm tears building up. So much is happening right now. So much is always happening. I plop by Samantha on the couch and softly cry. I feel guilty for Samantha. I don't know what to tell Samantha. I don't have any advice for her. And I don't know how Sam will take this news about his pregnant ex-girlfriend. That's it. That's the end. The last update is, hey, all of you, don't hate me. I'm posting another part that will follow this one exceptionally soon, like in two days. It's my fault for procrastinating this story, and I apologize. I will get back on track. And this was last updated December 3rd of 2019. That's it. That's the end. Samantha's pregnant. Sam doesn't know. And Rachel and Colby just seem really off. I'm sure it was just the writing and let me tell you, that was a hard one to get through. Make sure and leave a comment down below if there are any other fan fictions you would like me to read. There is a comment on one of my other videos that I will probably start next week. It's another Colby Brock fan fiction. And I know we all love Colby Brock here. I'm going to be so embarrassed if Colby Brock were to ever see my videos. I'm so sorry. Make sure and let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That lets me know to keep making these kind of videos. And if you made it to the end of this video, I would like to take this opportunity to announce that I actually have a book coming out. Ever since I started reading fan fiction, it's really inspired me to start getting back into writing and I forgot how much I love writing. I'm hoping to have it published at least for sure in ebook format on July 18th, which is literally next week. It's called Stream Starting Soon. And once I have it all published and ready to go, I will have it linked in the description box below. It is technically like slightly fan fiction, but I really don't think you guys will ever figure out who it is. But if you guys wanted um, an extra way to be able to support this channel, then feel free to check it out on July 18th. I will definitely have it available um, through Amazon eBooks, so like Kindle, and I'm hoping to get it all finished and finalized for Apple Books as well. Once I have the link posted, when you click on it, you will see that it's published under a different name, and that is because I did want to write it under a pseudonym. Pseudonym. I don't know why I've always thought pseudonym and pseudonym were different. I think I was thinking synonym. Anyways, it's under a different name. So if you guys want to support the channel, I will make an announcement when it is out and published and ready to be purchased. I think I'm just going to publish it for like $5.99 since it's my first one. 
I really don't know how good it's going to be. I enjoy it. I really like it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next week.